Hi, I'm Ruting Sun, Product Manager for the Barracuda Firewall. Our security specialist team wanted me to talk to you today about some of the new upcoming product updates that we have on the Barracuda Firewall. But before we start there, I want to put that in context of your budget and some of the other projects you may be working on. One of the trends that we see organizations moving to today are cloud-based applications. Companies are increasingly using things like Office 365, Google Apps, and Salesforce.com. The problem that you have with a lot of these applications is that they're web-based. And so the more that you utilize these applications, the more internet that you actually need to provide to your end users to be able to access those same applications. You may have noticed that as your users use more and more of these types of applications, that your internet service has degraded or has become a lot slower. And so organizations typically try to solve this problem a number of different ways. Right? They go and buy more bandwidth for a primary link. They go and buy secondary links or secondary uplinks in case of failover events. Um, but a lot of this actually ultimately boils down to buying more bandwidth or upgrading your existing bandwidth. There's actually smarter ways that organizations can go about uh, saving money and not having to upgrade bandwidth. And that really has to do with making sure that you're managing your network traffic efficiently. The Barracuda Firewall has a number of features that allow you to manage your traffic very efficiently. For example, the application-based link selection capabilities of the Barracuda Firewall let you actually dynamically assign specific applications to go out specific uplinks. And so if you wanted to make sure that Salesforce.com or Office 365 had the most amount of bandwidth reserved for it, you can actually prioritize it for your production link or for your highest available link. At the same time, if you wanted to relegate things like social media or streaming media to a cheaper link, you can do that with the application-based link selection feature uh, as well. The second trend that we see with organizations today is around consolidation. A lot of companies are consolidating their network security and content security infrastructure into a single appliance for easier management. But the trade-off for ease of management is that you actually sacrifice a lot of performance, you sacrifice throughput, and you also sacrifice a lot of feature depth and feature richness. And so what organizations tend to do is they tend to over-provision. They tend to buy firewalls or they tend to buy UTM solutions that are much bigger than what they actually have as far as network throughput because they know that by the time that they actually enable a lot of latent sensitive features like SSL inspection, web filtering, et cetera, et cetera, that throughput will ultimately come down. The new feature on the Barracuda Firewall, known as Transparent Redirect, allows the Barracuda Firewall and the Barracuda Web Filter to work hand in hand in terms of being able to do web filtering. The Barracuda Firewall can actually transparently redirect web traffic to the web filter without breaking the inline connection. So instead of over-provisioning your UTM or firewall product to take into consideration latent sensitive operations like SSL inspection, URL filtering, VPN capabilities, you can actually leave the firewall to do the things that it needs to do without being impacted by things like URL filtering, SSL inspection, and reporting. This results in a lot of cost savings because you no longer have to over-provision and you're not exposed to accelerated refresh cycles that are very typical of traditional UTM products. Finally, we've come up with a number of flexible options to make the Barracuda Firewall fit into your budget. So call us today and see how we can protect your network and your wallet. Thanks.